It's that time again. Welcome to your Monday. The Monday of geoguessing. The continued Monday of United States geoguessing. The alphabetical continuing of blah blah, you know, whatever. Anyway, we're continuing our extremely interesting alphabetical this which has stuck us in the middle of the United States where a lot of it seems to be flat and kind of uninteresting but here's hoping today is a little different in the good old state of Iowa now Iowa as you can see is basically Midwest way more Midwest than Indiana was um it's generally flat. I mean, the, the highest elevation is apparently Hawkeye Point, which is um, 1,671 feet or 509 meters, which is pretty much nothing. It's uh, the, what is it, 29th state admitted to the Union on my birthday in 1846, so that's the only good thing it's got going for it <clears throat> so far. I mean, I don't know. I've not been here myself. Its capital is Des Moines, which I don't even know if that really means anything. It probably does. I mean, it was part of the, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Louisiana Purchase. If you've ever heard or listened to, heard or listened, heard or seen anything on American colonialism. I don't really expect you to, but if you did, why are we going? This is obnoxious. What? This is the tiniest... I can click here. This is maddening. Anyway, it was part of the territory known as the Louisiana Purchase, where the U.S. got a very good deal on some uh, former, well, French territory in the middle of the U.S. A lot of it had to do with the fact that I hate this. I can't go any farther than these tiny little clicks. The fact that France was kind of out of money and they were uh, looking to make some money and they kind of stopped caring about <clears throat> certain chunks of their uh, uh, colonial regions. And one of those included the Louisiana Purchase, which was an insanely good deal. I forget the actual monetary price for it, but it was basically pennies on the dollar. Uh, the flag of Iowa was kind of mimicked after um Francis itself if you happen to look at it. Uh let me take another drink here as I'm hoping to at least go mmm this is how to make me annoyed. It's this, if you're wondering. And then suddenly we go flying. Let's see, Dumont, Shell Rock, and Waverly. None of these are showing up. So now it's just a matter of, in the next minute, finding one of these things. Dumont, Shell Rock, or Waverly. <clears throat> the biggest city is also the capital. Well, uh, yeah, I think they were, they were doing some sort of like technicalities where there's a lot of like municipalities of cities that are like outside the state, but they kind of bleed over. Um, but Des Moines apparently is the biggest. It's the capital, as I said. Dumont. Excuse me, I'm not seeing these anywhere here. So this is going to be a very tiny, potentially, route here. I'm hoping I can maybe get a route sign, but I doubt that's going to happen. Hampton. It's a D.A.R.E. community. Well, I forgot about D.A.R.E., holy shit. Drug abuse resistance education. How about that? It was the thing we all did, at least in school. As I gotta, I gotta guess. Oh, it's gonna be bad. So I'm just gonna say we're we're here, and just be completely wrong. Um, that wasn't that far. Well, there's way really. How far could I have seen it? Definitely could have seen it. Oh, no oh, well. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> anyway, dare was the thing I think in sixth grade that was kind of like the pr 
proactive attempt by the, I guess, local law enforcement agencies to uh, Knoxville. Well, Knoxville's down there, so this is a different Knoxville. Sorry, I'm trying not to get distracted here. Uh, it was another attempt to prevent drug use with kids and whatnot. Uh, we had it. Didn't work that well. I mean, it's 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 kind of expected, I guess. I mean, they tried. First time I ever smelled marijuana in my entire life was when the cop came around and being like, if you smell this smell, go get a teacher or something. Ooh, what do we got here? McDonald's, Pizza Hut, Subway, Dairy Queen, Hardee's, and the Rib Shack. I really need to find... Can I get over there? I really hope I can, because this is going to tell me everything I need to know. Okay, this is what I was hoping to get. All right, we're going to get a highway. Oh, boy. Oh, God. I'm very concerned. I think that says Burlington. So let's... Route 92 and Route 5. Okay, let's zoom out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And look for 92 and or 5. There's 6. I don't see 5. There's 6 again. All right, let's look for 92. I don't see it. Ah, uh, this, this, this friggin', oh my god, I'm, I'm angry. Neither of these things are showing up here. How is that, how is that possible? Get me over here. I am a little upset. Okay, let's look at this thing. 5 and 92. This price is Darlington. Oh, Oskaloosa. How can I not have... Oh my god, I'm so upset. It seems to be a big enough road that it should show up here. But it's not. Hold on, guys, needs... Well, excuse me. All right, you know what? Whatever. We're getting on the road. I'm I'm real mad. 64, that doesn't help me. Can I see this sign here that maybe will tell me something? Knoxville, that doesn't... How, how can this not be... Goddamn, 5 and 92. This is two friggin' routes together. We have south and east. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, there's five. Finally. Five and 92. Okay, so Knoxville was off of here. So we're like here then. I'm going to hit home. And we were near a body of water. Um, What's close? This has to be like right here. I think we're like right there. Yeah. Let me take a drink. Oh, excuse me, I'm glad I saw that the last second. Anyway, is there anything else here to mention about good old Iowa? Uh, it's very agriculture. Let's let's see here. That's how it basically started off with. In the latter half of the 20th century, Iowa's agricultural economy made the transition for, to a diversified economy into advanced manufacturing, processing, financial services, information technology, biotechnology, and green energy production. Iowa was the 26th most extensive in land area and the 30th most populous of the 50. Iowa has been listed as one of the safest states to live in. Uh, is there any other cool little things here? Hmm. Really? Let's see what they say for attractions. Davenport Skybridge looks cool. Just looking at pictures here. I'm essentially just reading Wikipedia, staring at the side of a truck, and 
I think we're being truck blocked here. <laughs> Bernardsville, New Jersey, huh? You're you're a little away from home here. I do see a road sign up here, and I'm hoping that may tell me where we are. I don't think this is a interstate. Um, I guess I can I go forward a smidge. Oh, of course, Murphy's Law states. Okay, we've got Marengo and North English. Neither of those things are a big enough town for me to know what it is. I'm not living in Iowa. So I think that'll probably just say, yep, okay. These things seem to be more of emergency turnarounds or places that cops pull over to actually, like, catch people speeding. They usually locate them on blind corners or hills or places where generally when you're, uh, excuse me, driving along you can't see it in time to slow your speed down so they kind of just catch you but you drive on a road long enough you eventually catch on and know when these uh things are going to happen all these giant trucks are going to block us from exit signs and ramps i think but there is a bridge coming up here and i'm hoping that that's going to tell me or at least give me the uh, okay it is a small enough road that they do not have an entrance or exit ramp so bully to that I do see a sign they do have billboards in Iowa it's not every state has that it's KTM factory racing huh what do we do are these motorex motorcycles what happened to my voice I don't know I do see a sign let's uh get up to it it's probably not going to tell me anything Mellenberg and Ladora. None of these, again. Lots of routes. This seems a little bit more... Quick Star, Exit 201. A little bit more hilly, at least, compared to the other ones that we did, but... Lake Iowa Park. I'm guessing... This is Lake Iowa. I could be wrong. Lake Red Rock. Rathburn. Polk City. Sailorville. Where's Lake Iowa? Is this? That's probably Spirit Lake, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, none of that's, none of that's helpful. Um, a little concerned. I haven't seen anything. There is an exit here. I'm hoping I can get on exit. Thank you. And potentially find out what route this was in 10 goddamn seconds. Shit. Back up a smidge. No! Um, we're there. Ah, I ran out of time. I ran out of so much time. I saw nothing. I did see that it said an interstate, like the symbol for it, but I did not get to it in time. Just a long stretch of road with absolutely nothing on it. Uh, another bad score we're going to get this time. That one potentially had information. I just couldn't get to it in time. But enough of that. The only thing we're missing now is a potential, like, uh, excuse me, that was very unprofessional of me. Just missing, like, a, a, a geoguesser location from within a city. And I think we've pretty much covered all of the state. Uh, let me take a drink. Mm. Oh, sorry, that was a hard swallow. I don't know if you've ever gotten those before where, like, if you try to swallow, it hurts. And you kind of just have to wait until your throat's like, okay, we're ready to swallow. Okay, this should say 380th Street. Not really helpful. I was hoping to get a root. Hold on, I gotta see a thing. Apparently someone... Let's see... Oh, shit. It is true. I just saw now Kobe Bryant's dead. Apparently crashed in a helicopter. What a way to go. It's fucking weird. Tragic, but fuck. Hmm. Just happened to come across my phone right now. 
no point in me giving a eulogy here. I mean, he's just kind of a basketball player that I knew. Pretty good basketball player, but he was so young. Dying in a helicopter crash now. Fucking weird. <clears throat> Not to completely derail. Let's 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 just try to get back to geoguessing. I mean, I guess you can kind of know when I'm gonna see these uh or when I'm recording these videos, it'd be whenever after when this came out. Apparently, this is pretty recent, at least within probably a half hour from now, maybe sooner since I uh, started recording this, the news broke. I've not seen any root signs here, and I'm at a loss. I'm hoping I'll get to some civilization here, but... At least here, when it's nothing but farmland, it's at least, like, hilly farmland. So it's something, but it's still just kind of unhelpful. This is just, it's a very long straight road. Oh, we do have a county route road. The problem is, I don't know where this is. I don't know the counties. I'm just going to click, like, here and see if... Maybe I can get, oh, we got a road closed to through traffic, huh? Well, I guess we're continuing straight. Fuck me. I'm hoping I at least, I picked a quadrant, and I'm just assuming I got the correct quadrant. 30 seconds. I'm going to take a sip again. Hopefully not choke. Oh, excuse me. Okay, this is annoying. Let's just do this. Forward, 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 again, come on, oh, <clears throat> oh, silly me, beard near Minden, on uh, Sycamore Road, I, no way I was going to get that. Well, we're not in a city, so we didn't actually get every single potential locale. But this seems to be a bigger road, although this is probably going to say a state. No, this is Adopt a Highway again. Who's adopting this one? Midland FGA? FSA? I don't know. I have no idea what that is. Federal Somersault Agency? Is this a root sign? I think it is. This is route 64. Now, I have to look for one of the round ones, which are going to be these smaller ones. Problem is, i got to zoom in more to see these. There's 60. Um, so let's just do a quick scan for a 64. If I had more time... I could potentially... There's 64. Well, all right. We're going to put us here. How big is 64? We have this chunk of road to work with. Okay. Progress. Potential score happening here. Let us... Try to find... Maybe a town or something. Maybe something that can tell us. Hey, we're near such and such. And then I could probably get a better idea of where exactly on this road we are. I don't know if I'm going to get that, uh, like, luxury. So I kind of kind of have to, like, see if there's a huge chunk of road with, like, nothing in it. This could be it. So I'm going to put us like here. Codfish Hollow Barnstormers? What the fuck is that? Like a play? Never heard of Codfish Hollow Barnstormers. Anyway, around this turn, I swear there's going to be something. Big house, big yard. Um, Anything? 
Is this a sign I could use? Oh, engine brake ordinance enforced. I think if you used engine brake, it gets too loud and people get annoyed. Oh, we're at the junction of 136. Perfect. This will help. All right, so 136. So we were getting into town. Is there another? Oh, it does right here. So we were like here. Is this Wyoming? I mean, not actually the town of Wyoming, but, or the city of, the state. Fuck. What happened to my head? <clears throat> Oxford Junction. Maquateca. Onslow and Cascade. Oxford Junction. There it is. Maquateca. Cascade should be... Okay, Anzo's there. Wait, no, we're on. We're on this. All right, so does this take a super sharp turn? 64 goes straight. Yeah, so we were like maybe here. I'm going to hit home, and maybe in five seconds I can see a road we're near. And there is a driveway. That doesn't help me. Oh, we were on the other side. Okay. Well, score a little better. But, eh, these are the states that I know I'm going to do bad with. But, anyway, that's going to do it for the eyes. Flowing through the states here. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, anything, it could be suggestions about maps, themes, Anything GeoGuessr, anything game related, anything anything related, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will look at them and appreciate your contribution and interaction. Your Monday's done. A couple more days left, and then what? The weekend will be here way before you know it. And I'll be here at least on Wednesday to touch back with you guys and be like, hey, we're almost there. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.